Hello, welcome back to part two of this video. Before we were just working this machine over here with the high crown die and basically roughing in our shape. This is basically what we have right now. See this a little residue left over from the rubber. Still not quite smooth enough. But the problem with this high crown die is that it leaves real, real small dings in the metal. So it makes it real tough to smooth. So what we're doing is, in this other machine, we have an inch and a half crown die. And that's basically going to come in, and it's a lot flatter. So what it's going to do is it's going to take all the stuff and it's going to bring it, make it nice and smooth. Now one little thing that we got that's neat for you guys that are looking for a stand for your planishing machine. If you look down, this is nothing more than a brake drum from a tractor trailer. And what's neat is it's got a pre-made die holder, the lug holes. Weld on a base, and you're into it fairly inexpensive. Now we're going to go over here, and I'm just going to smooth this out. Low pressure. Remove this. Very, very low pressure we're going to use. Okay. You know, she's starting to get pretty smooth. You also notice I'm not using a lot of strength and it's fairly loose in here. Too many times guys try to force this stuff down and make it try to do things it doesn't design to do. You don't have to do that. And here's our piece, nice and smooth. If you notice on the outside edges there, it is a little bit thinner and a little bit out of shape stuff. We've actually stretched the metal out a little bit this way. Remember people were asking what size the thing we had to cut to get our panel? There's our piece right there. And we've raised that up a good inch. Back in the taillight buckets, back in the headlight buckets. Uh, like I said, recessed gauges. Now to do this little panel over here, to do this little piece over here, it basically works the same except instead of working in a circle, I'm working in a teardrop shape. So if I gotta get into a tight teardrop shape, it works very, very nice. Uh, and that pretty much concludes this video. Uh, my name is Norm Campo. I'm with Performance Metal Shaping. These two machines, like I said, are from Mittler Brothers. Uh, the one on my right is a prototype that we designed. I am the guy to design this machine. So if you have any questions, don't be afraid to call Mittler. They'll send them over to me and I can walk you through it. Uh, this is the new production machine that they have. Uh, they made some improvements with the billet. Uh, they stiffened this up a little bit. They've added a lock biscuit. Uh, it's a very, very good quality machine. It's price on this uh, on 2009 is about $800. It's a 24 inch machine. So it means you can go in a uh, 12 inch machine. I'm sorry. It's a 12 inch machine. It goes to the middle of a 24 inch panel. They do manufacture one with a 24 inch show that goes to a 48 inch panel, to the center of a 48 inch panel. I thank you very much for your time and we'll see you on our next video.